Hi everyone and welcome to Home Arena Collectibles where today we're going to be taking a look at this awesome Pink Ranger helmet from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This is the Lightning Collection Pink Ranger Roleplay Helmet. As you can see there it is 18 plus. It is an adult size uh, replica helmet although I'm sure kids can use it just fine. This thing releases in the autumn of 2021 which means I do have this early so I just want to thank Hasbro for sending this out to me. Uh, you can pre-order this from Hasbro Pulse UK or from Zavi and it'll be $84.99 retail and it just looks so damn cool. Awesome, awesome corner art on the box there. The lightning collection is amazing. I love the figures. I've definitely been eyeing up the, uh, the white and the green ranger helmets and as well as uh, some of the other items from the line. Uh, so definitely, definitely happy to have this thing as part of the collection. I do have the old uh, legacy um, communicator for, for Tommy, which has the interchangeable green and white uh, parts on the, uh, the wrist strap and stuff like that. So really awesome to add some more uh, epic roleplay items into the Power Rangers part of the collection. Let's take a look at the top of the box and then the sides right there. Really, really nice. On the back here it says uh, premium roleplay helmet. Uh, it has a display stand and it has an adjustable fit. This thing does uh, open up in two halves just like it should, like the real thing. Uh, it says here, in the series Kimberly Hart and Catherine Hellard both morph into action as the Pink Ranger. And look at that really cool display stand. Yeah, can't wait to get into this thing so let's just go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna open it up for you guys. I have cut the tape already. So, just making sure it is still recording. Let's go ahead and get this thing out. So when you open it up, as you can see, the helmet is nicely presented to you right there. And uh, at first glance, it looks a little small, but what you've got to remember here is that it's actually um, quite a, a close fit. You know, it's uh, I have a motorcycle helmet and I'll actually show you uh, the comparison uh, to my uh, bike helmet, but I mean, it, it does look pretty small. I do have a small head, um, but it, it is a close fit, and it's not a helmet that you're going to be able to just slide on. Obviously, you're meant to attach it, you know, front and back, so it's meant to be um, the right size, basically. It might look small, but that's just small in comparison to some other helmets that you can just slide on, and they're just big buckets that rattle around on your head. They need to be attached properly, and this thing does. And there's also some instructions in here as well. So, as part of this stand, we have this piece, we have this piece, and we have this piece. Very nice. So, it does have the awesome Mighty Morphin Power Rangers logo right there, if I can get it to stop focusing on me. Very, very cool. Love how that's shining. It is actually a, uh, a chromed sticker, so that looks fantastic. Then here we have this piece, which has another bit inside it, so... That looks like it attaches right there. Very cool. That will go onto the stand right there. And then this piece can go on the very top. So there's the stand fully built up. And I'm guessing that the, uh, the helmet, uh, the straps inside, is going to rest on that. So yeah, let's go ahead and check the helmet out. Man, this thing looks so cool. Look at that. It actually looks and feels bigger now that I've took it out of the wrapper. This is kind of strange, but yeah, very, very nice indeed. Very, very cool. Something about the mouthpieces on the, uh, the first uh, couple of seasons of Power Rangers that I absolutely adore. Obviously not too much going on with this helmet in comparison to some of the others. It doesn't have, you know, silver detailing for, for tusks or teeth or anything. Uh, for the pterodactyl, we do have the green eyes right there and the sort of heart-shaped look in those eyes. A very, very iconic and awesome helmet design. Very nice. And we even have the molded on clasps. But this, you don't have to worry about using clasps. It actually has magnets. So it's connected with a hinge at the top, which is just kind of like a rubbery, plasticky kind of hinge. And then it's got magnets in two points on each side. And that is really nice and secure as you can see 
that thing ain't coming unstuck unless you want it to and it's not that hard to do either it also has some uh, as you can see there some little uh, plastic uh, locators to make sure it goes in the right place and yeah it's awesome it's not super duper heavy I will showcase it next to my motorcycle helmet as well just so you can see it is smaller it's probably roughly the same much smaller in that dimension and everything but yeah kind of the same ish in terms of height there but really really good size some kind of a fight that probably would protect me a lot more than this but this has got the cool factor so as you can see inside here we have the adjuster mechanism if you ever wore a hard hat or most other collectible helmets you know how this thing is gonna work it can adjust in a couple of different ways you've got a bit at the back that you can twist to tighten or loosen and uh, yeah let's go ahead and get that sorted it looks like it has an adjuster at the front as well so a bit like uh, in some uh, hats some caps they've got like the plastic strips you've either got the velcro or the plastic uh, strip the clip it's got one of those right there for you to adjust at the front and then you've got this bit at the back that you can adjust as well to go in or out and obviously uh, yeah it seems like it's pretty damn adjustable uh, you also have this side adjuster here as well, so you can adjust how far up that sits. So you should be able to adjust how high it sits on your head, and then also how tight it is from stopping it from wiggling around. So I'm going to adjust this thing, and I'll be right back. Oh wow, even on the adjuster, it has the Power Rangers lightning bolt there. That's so cool. Okay, so after a little bit of adjusting, uh, this bit inside, the, the whole harness section, actually rotates in there. So what you want to do is, once you've got it adjusted right, you flip it back like this. So you put it on your head like this. Then you bring the front down and then you bring the back down. So, it is quite a narrow fit. So I got to watch my ears as I close it as well. So you put it on and it's resting on your head like that. Then you bring the front down. You also probably won't be able to hear me anymore past this, but there we go. You bring the front down. And then we close both sides. And there we go. Like I said, I have no idea if you can hear me or not, but I am really, really loud because this thing is all just plastic. But it's decently comfortable. Doesn't wiggle much. I could tighten it up a little bit more. And it looks pretty good really really good visibility from all of that it's actually not all that different uh, to the visor on my bike helmet to be honest so way way better visibility than um, most other helmets on the market if you are a Star Wars fan and you're used to uh, an Imperial helmet design like a Stormtrooper or maybe Darth Vader or Boba Fett or something um, this thing is gonna have so, so much better visibility. I mean, that is just a ton of visor right there. And that is partly just uh, this design, but also partly um, just the whole uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. You know, they, they do have uh, really nice visors. Now, there is a bit of a gap uh, just around the edge there. So it's a little bit of venting. Uh, it's comfortable. It's definitely wearable for cosplay, comic cons, all that kind of stuff. As you can see, you can take it off super fast, so there's no worry about, oh, I'm going to be really hot in this thing, and then it's going to be a, you know, a fuss to, to get it off and this, that, and the other. You can just take it straight off. It's totally fine. Uh, it looks fantastic. The paintwork is pretty good. You can see the line work there. It's stuff focusing on my face. It's not the sharpest line work in the world, but it's not the worst either. The silver paint on the mouth is really, really nice. Um, but one thing that this does great that making your own helmet might not is the fact that the visor is really, really good. Everything is the right shape. Um, you've even got the, the clasps on there and everything. Uh, it's It just works really, really well. I think. The price point of some of the Black Series Star Wars helmets 
where it's like well over 100 pounds, like 120, 130, 140. Looking at those kind of prices, it's like, yeah, I may as well just make a Boba Fett helmet myself, you know? But for something like this, 84.99, I definitely think that um, for the comfort, for the great visibility, for the awesome size, um, and just how amazing of a replica these things are, um, the weight and everything, the ease of putting them on and off, uh, I definitely think these are worth picking up for their price. And uh, you know, if you're trying to make a Power Rangers uh, cosplay yourself, I definitely do recommend uh, picking one of these things up. Let's go ahead and take a look at the stand then. You just kind of stick it on and it looks absolutely fantastic on there. Absolutely awesome display stand. You've got the amazing MMPR logo right there. Oh, so good, so good. So yeah, I highly, highly recommend you pick this thing up. I will definitely be getting a green or white or both, probably both. Um, and having pink kind of makes me want them all. Just imagine a row of uh, of glass cabinets and just having the helmets laid across them. Oh, that would be so amazing. So yeah, quick recap. Looks awesome, fits great, very, very adjustable. Unless you have a big head, um, it's gonna fit great. Well, even if you have a big head, because of the way that it opens up, as long as it's not a super wide head, I'm sure it's gonna fit in there just fine. And uh, my ears, when I say my, I have to put my ears back, that's just so that I don't like, you know, snap them in the thing when I close it together. Uh, my ears aren't actually like this against my head or anything like that, uh, once it's actually on. So yeah, great fit, great look, great design. Thank you so much Hasbro Pulse for sending this thing out. And as I said, if you want to pre-order this thing, it comes out in the autumn of 2021, wherever you are, um, coming to you soon. But yeah, so uh, pre-order it from Hasbro Pulse UK or Zavi. Uh, if you are in the UK, that's both of those. Uh, elsewhere, I'm sure you can get it from a ton of places. Uh, and especially once it's released, you'll be able to get them everywhere, wherever you buy your collectibles, especially Power Rangers stuff. But yeah, this thing looks amazing. I can't keep my eyes off it. It looks awesome. Um, I was going to go ahead and do some close-up uh, shots from the desk, but I'll just take some photos and you can go ahead and check those out on Instagram. But yeah, this thing looks awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to see more content from me, there's some videos at the bottom of the screen right now and more Power Rangers stuff, both figures and more prop replicas. Go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. It's Morphin' Time.